Well, the future is here for anyone living in Bartow. The city unveiling a new solar farm, which will power five to six percent of the city over the course of the year. The now's Andrea Lyon shows us how that translates to savings for people in that area. I think it's really neat that they call them solar farms. Just because it's a small town doesn't mean you can't think big. You're really, uh, you're farming the sun is, is what you're doing. The idea born 10 years ago by Barto city manager. It's something we've been working to try to do for a long time. We look at the solar power as a hedge against future increases in the price of traditional fuels like natural gas. The solar farm already builds on rural land in Bartow hosts over 28,000 solar panels. Enough power for uh, about a thousand homes. You won't be seeing a drastic change in your build today. If anyone thinks that 15 or 20 years down the road, the price of natural gas is going to be even less than what it is today. Well, then we've made a wrong call. But in the long run, it locks in the rate for the next 25 years. Your bill will not be getting any higher for the foreseeable future. It's in their backyard. They save on transmission costs over the long term. According to the city, by the end of April, you should be looking for an instant decrease in your invoice due to this project plus other elements. Nine and a half percent reduction in the uh, in the city's residential rates. It's a much better deal. People will be able to keep more dollars in their pocket, which can be spent locally in our businesses and, and so on. So it's a good thing for everybody. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, The Now, Tampa Bay.